Uh, despite Mudbound taking place after World War II, mm -hmm. it's still really relevant to today. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how it's relevant and within the two time periods? Yeah, yeah. Mudbound is, you know, has themes and concepts that are evergreen because, you know, Mudbound explores what it means to be American, which is something we're still constantly questioning. We have one character, Ronzel, who's more American in Germany than he is when he walks down his own hometown street. Mudbound explores what it feels. Mudbound explores the impossibility of going home sometimes, where we have these two soldiers who come back home and who've had their kind of minds opened by the things they've seen, who come back home and kind of see hypocrisy, and so it's impossible for them to fold back into their families. And Mudbound explores how we're all interconnected. So we see these two families, you know, fathers, wives, sons, who are connected to each other, who are mirrors of each other. And I think we're figuring out as a nation that we're connected to each other and also to our past. Like everything is now, nothing is past, nothing is future. Everything kind of exist within the moment that we're creating. Right now we're dealing with a lot of racism, a lot of people thinking that other people don't belong, you know, and it's very relevant in that way where it's just a lot of racism. <laughs> yeah, it feels like sort of the anti-period film because this is set in the 50s but really it says so much about where we are as a society today, you know. It's about division and how, to, you know, division is ultimately fruitless and um, you know the only way that we're gonna make it is by coming together. This film shows how we're just reflecting each other you know and that you know we haven't changed like that we, that we ourselves like, I think behavior moves in cycles and changes consciousness may, maybe ticks upward but we as people you know have to kind of like like all we have are an interrogation of ourselves of our personal histories and you know the, the choice to be more conscious about how we're, we're moving forward in the world. Yeah. Now, what was the biggest challenge you faced with your character? Keeping that mustache on and the, <laughs> the old Mississippi heat. Well, I was, I think I was being prepared for this role since I was a little girl. My mom and dad are Southern, and um, my mom, when we moved to New York, well, she moved to New York in her 20s, they both did, and they had me. So, in the summertime, when we were like seven and eight years old, my mom was sent us to Georgia, and my grandmother was this woman, and my aunts were this woman. So, this woman is in my DNA. So I already had that. But um, as far as my personal life is concerned, I was going through so much and I was able to give this character all of everything I was dealing with, all my pain, all of my you know, insecurities, everything, and let her hold that. So, and then of course I had to get an acting coach as well to help me bring all of that out. What do you hope everyone takes away from this film? Mm, that there is something that's, the, that's being said here. Like what is this opportunity, all, all of this devices, excuse me, all of this division that we're dealing with right now um, I think it's an opportunity for us to love each other, love ourselves, love our neighbor, learn how to love ourselves and learn what love is in the first place. And that we all, and hopefully that we all belong, you know, we all, and we're all in this together. I'll say I hope audiences take away that it ends in love. And that's, that's a rarity these days, especially with a film that's dealing with um, stu uh, such difficult issues. <laughs> God, Zilla! Yes. Zilla bitch!